so difficult just to put how somber and emotional of a day it has been out here on Jefferson Avenue. So many gathered, as you saw, to grieve. Febin Casahoon joins us with more tonight on really only the start of the healing process for so many, Febin. That's right, Jeff. More than 100 people attended Macedonia Baptist Church this afternoon for a prayer vigil at 4 p.m., which is actually less than a mile away from this Tops location that where 10 people tragically lost their lives yesterday afternoon. Now, I wanted to mention that uh, many state leaders were also in attendance to show us support and solidarity under one roof. That includes Governor Kathy Hochul, Mayor Byron Brown, Erie County Executive Mark Polonkars, Senator Tim Kennedy, and even AG Letitia James. We're going to deal with the elephant in the room as a community, and we're going to do that uh, using the thing that is closest to most of our communities, which is our faith traditions. A terrible atrocity calling the Buffalo community together. Each faith was able to present itself in a way that, um, that spoke to that tradition, that respected that tradition, but that also uh, robustly respected the traditions of others. Reverend Julian Cook's message to the people who lost loved ones is that the church will do more than just pray. We're going to support you financially. Uh, I have had several people to offer gifts and we will get those to those families. Uh, we are also going to support you uh, spiritually and to be present, practice the ministry of presence and serve in whatever ways that we need to. Ben Dwyer says while it's hard to believe gun violence of this magnitude has happened so close to home, he says it was just a matter of time. One of the strongest feelings is what am I doing every day to address some of the issues that are still festering after so many years and I wanted to be here today to help be part of the community. Sharon Belton Cotman represents the Ferry District in Buffalo Public School District. She lives close to the top store and calls the shooting unreal and disappointing. She says she feels heartache for the victims and their families and wants justice to be served. I feel somewhat sorry for the individual, but I was more concerned about his parents, how they felt as being, you know, because they're victims in this as well, I, would, I feel, but ultimately, there's no excuse for violence, and, I, and, I, and he cannot get a pass. Justice has to be served. Reverend Peter Cook came here from Albany. He says this kind of inclusive spirit is critical. Our hearts are broken and that we um, want God and all of us to extend every kindness to the families and the community. He also says we all need to rally against gun violence and hate groups. We have to take um, white supremacy really seriously and be able to challenge it and speak out against it and also challenge its many manifestations in terms of unequal uh, economic uh, policies which afflict our communities. Now, one thing that did stick with me after my conversation with Sharon Belton Cotman was that she said that we need to remember that we need to monitor our tongue. She said that to say that our words have impact on others and they can harm and they can kill like they did in this situation. I also wanted to add that anyone who is in need of mental and emotional services can seek that for free at Macedonia Baptist Church all throughout the week and for the foreseeable future. Live in Buffalo, Febin Kassoon, 7 News. All right, thank you, Febin. So much healing here still ahead. So a hateful act of terrorism by a lone gunman who came here to our community from hours away to carry out evil.